What's happening people? So, we've got the tracking done, real hunky-dory, lovely jubbly. I mean, it does vibrate at 100, so fuck knows what's going on there. Um, that's when we was in Mexico on the way home, you know, we got the ferry across the border and fucking had a little tear up around there, then we got back just now. But, um, yeah, the tracking's done. I mean, it, it's, it's, it's safe now, do you know what I mean? We're not gonna end up in a fucking grass verge or anything like that. We've changed the wheel nuts, put the spigots on. I thought I'd do a little video sort of about about running these end keys because I had to do so much trawling on the internet to sort of find out what's what fits what to go onto the type R etc. And it was just a little bit long. So I thought do a video. Any of you guys out there got an EP3 type R and you're thinking about running these um, Evo 8 end keys check this video out, do you know what I mean? It, it'll tell you everything you need. So, basically, wheel nuts, you need these lug nuts. I brought the wrong ones at the um, at the start, so what I'm gonna do, I'll leave a little um, overlay right here, somewhere around here, and it'll tell you what, what um, wheel nuts you're gonna need. So they're them, I think they're about 35 quid, I, I believe, so. And then also, you need um, spigot rings. I can't remember off the top of my head what size they were, but again, I will leave a little um, overlay around this area here, just check it out. I think they cost a fiver. I bought them from like China, and um, I don't know if any of you do this, but you buy something on eBay, then you think, oh fuck me, it's been a week, where are it here? Then you check it, and then it's like coming from Hong Kong, and you're like, for fuck's sake, it's like a four or five week wait, but shout out to whoever they were, they literally arrived in two weeks, so I was quite happy about that. So got some aluminium ones they're, they're fine so they're all on so the wheels and that are all on properly everything looks hunky-dory and yeah it's, it's driving all right apart from the tracking mate kev like shout out to kev like who um, done the tracking for us he um he's done it he set it up but like i say there is some vibrations coming through it on top head so i will have to get that sorted at some point but i already i already drive it what's that kind of doing it's road um yeah, I rarely drive it, so I'd be lucky if I do do 50 miles a week, fucking hell. Not even, yeah, not even that, probably 10 miles if I'm lucky, so yeah. So, yeah, I ain't got to worry about that until, until later, I will get that sorted. But, yeah, just thought I'd do a quick video. I know it's not really much happening, but it's a bit of a little little vlog. But, yeah, if you're running the Evo end keys, they're what to get. Tire-wise, tire I believe I'm running... Um, 205 45 17 and i've not incorporated any scrubbing whatsoever and and the uh yellow speed coilovers are like on the on the bottom i can drop it more on the back if i wanted to change the preload and that but i want it so it's it's nice it's not going to be too too horrible on the road but yeah so if you're if you're thinking of running the evo in keys you need the spigots you need the right lug nuts and you also need smaller profile on your tyres because I've read that they do scrub but I've not incorporated anything but yeah I hope that helps if you like the video please remember to like share and subscribe and I'll um, catch you in the next one take care guys